The Duke of Edinburgh is said to have had a complex relationship with his daughters-in-law, Sarah Ferguson and Princess Diana. While Sarah was, at one point, Prince Philip's favoured daughter-in-law, her scandal-plagued separation and divorce from Philip's son Prince Andrew was said to have upset the Duke of Edinburgh the most. Philip also had a complex relationship with his other daughter-in-law, Princess Diana. Even Prince Edward took cue from his father Prince Philip over his feelings towards Sarah and Diana, Ingrid Seward wrote in 1995 for Prince Edward, a biography. Edward did not hold his sisters-in-law the Princess of Wales and the Duchess of York in high regard, claims the royal writer. Miss Seward revealed the Duke of Edinburgh deemed them substantially responsible for many of the difficulties that have beset the royal family and so undermine their public standing. Sarah Ferguson, otherwise known as Fergie, took the brunt of Philip's displeasure. The Duke was brusque when Fergie told him and the Queen that she was planning to leave her then-husband Prince Andrew. The biography reveals Philip reminded Fergie of her marital duty and insulted her by suggesting that if she really was going to leave she should book herself into a nunnery or loony bin. On Diana, the senior royal was angry, raging and unpleasant to the people's princess after learning her and Prince Charles' separation, according to Tina Brown in her 2007 book The Diana Chronicles. Miss Brown claims Princess Diana didn't like Prince Philip's tough love letters. The book states, Charles, Philip told her, had made a considerable sacrifice in cutting ties with Camilla and the princess had not appreciated what he had done. One time, Prince Philip also offended Princess Diana when he asked her this question, can you honestly look into your heart and say that Charles's relationship with Camilla has nothing to do with your behavior towards him in your marriage, Ms. Brown wrote. Although Princess Diana and Prince Philip had those encounters, the Duke was more supportive of Princess Diana compared to Camilla. He wrote his daughter-in-law a number of personal letters. Also, in one of his letters, he called his own son, Prince Charles, silly for leaving Princess Diana for the Duchess of Cornwall. When Princess Diana died, Prince Philip was among the men who walked behind her coffin during her funeral service. 